Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, tonight we've got another beer from Southern Grist, and this is going to be their Insert Juicy Pun. And this is a double IPA coming in at 7.9%. Um... Juicy this, juicy that, it's all you hear these days, so why not one more? This juicy New England double IPA is brewed with Galaxy, Mosaic, and Citra. So, really awesome stuff there as far as the hops go. Um, you know, I don't know anybody around who doesn't love those. Um, a lot of people call those the sexy hops, um, or just like those hops that, almost like cheater hops where you can just use those and they're so pungent and so flavorful that um, you know it's almost like you're cheating you know so I don't know we'll see uh, how it goes but um, there is a canned on date uh, this one was canned on June 4th so we're a little over a month old which is fine with me that's pouring that really light colored um, like straw colored Beautiful beer. Beautiful, completely opaque, full haze. Uh, yeah, that's that's really really nice. It's I guess a this is a light gold, uh, finger of head, bright white. It's dissipating fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna leave some lacing. Seven point nine percent. Yeah, I really like the can art though. It's just very simple, um, and the color's cool on it. This, uh, fun fact, this is actually the first, so one of the first beers that they canned, it was either in the first ca uh, running of the cans that they did, or the second running, but uh, I did go to the brewery and pick that up um, when they first did it. I want to say that was part of their first canning run, so just a little fun fact there. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing. Wow, it's very um, explosive. It's super tropical. Uh, it's it's dank. It's got some nice sweet fruit to it. It's got a nice like fresh hop pellet aroma to it. Uh, you know, like if you open a bag of hops and shove your nose in it, you get a little bit of that you know fresh hop aroma. There is some like a little bit of like oniony uh, and garlic type thing going on in there, dankness, like a little bit of like a, um, I guess like a vegetal thing. I'm getting like sweet orange, pineapple, a little bit of a bready malt, but it's got a lot of a lot of stuff going on as far as the hop flavor. It's got like an earthiness to it. Like a green grass. Um, so, yeah, very, a uh, lot going on in this one. It's very complex on the nose. Let's see if the aroma or the taste is the same. Sorry. Yeah. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, soft, velvety, smooth mouthfeel, light carbonation. Um, you can tell this is not a small beer, but it doesn't drink like a big beer either. It's kind of right in the middle of the pack. I would put it more, I would say it drinks around seven, seven and a half percent, um, rather than close to eight like it is. Seems like there is a little bit of a hop bite to it. Um, I don't know if it's just hopped that aggressively. Or if it just needs a little bit more time to mellow out, uh, but you do get like the sweet, um, you know, citrus fruit, you know, the, the orange, uh, maybe tangerine, maybe a little grapefruit in there. Definitely get some pineapple in there. Maybe even some like mango. You do get a nice like. Again, the oniony, garlicky thing is in there, like a little bit of a bite. Um, 
you do get that for sure. Um, that it's it's very it's very dank in my opinion. Yeah, I'm trying to pinpoint that um, that dankness to it. It's almost like a grassiness, a grassy like almost well, maybe even like a little pine resiny. Um, it does have a little pine character to it, which I usually get on a lot of the um, New England IPAs that Southern Grist brews. But yeah, not much else to say. I mean, it's it's fantastic. It's um, I guess to sum it up, it's super soft, super drinkable. Um, it's sweet. Uh, it's got a nice tropical fruit aroma and flavor to it. Uh, a nice dankness in there. It's got some earthy tones to it. Um, maybe like a, a dusty type note that maybe that from that galaxy or a musty type thing. Um, it's got a nice um, mouth feel to it. So it's hitting all the hitting all or checking all the boxes uh, for me. So yeah. I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's a good beer. So let me know if you've had it. Uh, Southern Grist always kills it. So, yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, let me know again, like I said, if you've had this beer. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. But until then, make sure you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.